Hi guys, go through my day with me as a litigation lawyer in Canada. Spoiler alert, is nothing like this. If you want to accelerate, you need more force. I love laws in physics and in life. So I became a lawyer. And it's nothing like this. Hey, who the hell do you think you are? Mr. Stanton, I guess you got our message. I did. And now I've got one for you. Beth and I got married this morning. You married a woman to protect yourself? I married her because I love her. You did it to make any conversation. So let's jump right into it. First of all, I get to work early in the morning. I typically aim to be at work at 8 a.m. in the morning. And this day I made it. 8 a.m. bright and early. I'm at work and I'm getting to my office. Turn it up, turn it up. I first unpack my lunch, take off my jacket, and put my lunch and my breakfast smoothie in the fridge. Once this is done, I sit down and typically the first thing I would do would be to check my voicemail from the previous day. I would usually have about five to six voicemails on a busy day and about two to three on a less busy day. So I check my voicemails first. And where necessary, I make notes from the voicemails that have been left by either clients or opposing counsels. Then I proceed to check my emails. It's really important that I check my emails first thing in the morning in case there's anything that is being flagged that I have to get to as soon as possible. If I have any of such, I tend to it immediately. If there's nothing really emergent, I just flag it to get to it later in the day. So on this day, I had an email that needed me to respond. So I was checking some references so I could be able to respond appropriately to the emails. I'm having a quick chat with my paralegal on the case that we're currently working on. She's giving me an update of the research she's done and how far she's come and we're just telling up what we both have right now. It's not my fault. Checking my email again, seeing if there's anything that needs my attention, and there was, so I attended to it immediately. I have to be in court in about an hour. So I'm taking my time to tidy everything I have to do before I head off to court. When you drop that bomb, girl, are you crazy? So I'm finally getting ready for court. I have an application at 10 a.m. So fun fact, in Newfoundland and Labrador where I practice law in Canada, lawyers have two types of outfit. You wear a tie and your jacket when you have an application, which is usually anything that doesn't require you to tender evidence. And you wear a band, a neck band and your robe when you're going in for a hearing that requires you to tender evidence so today i'm going in for an application and usually i struggle with this tie but today it went on really smoothly so 
here's me just putting on my tie I'm putting on my jacket I'm feeling good about this application but I still have to double check and triple check to make sure I have all my dogs in a row. The worst thing that will happen to a litigation lawyer is when you're not prepared in court. You have to double check, triple check to make sure you have everything you need because your client is depending on you to give them the best possible form of representation. So this is me just flipping through to make sure I have everything I need. And I'm also checking the server in case there's any additional documents that I need to print. Baby, it's you. So I print off my document and I call a cab. So my cab is here. I don't usually drive to courts uh, because the court is downtown and I find it really difficult to get parking. So I would normally call a cab which is what I did today. I'm getting into my cab. My cab man was quite chatty. And now we're heading up to court. I'm in court bright and early. This is the Supreme Court of Newfoundland and Labrador General Division. The first thing I'll do will be to check my courtroom. And I'm in courtroom 7 today. So I'm heading up to courtroom 7. This is a very old building, but I find it really beautiful and fascinating. I'll show you guys some parts of it. Good morning. I'm in courtroom step. Okay, I'll just see that. Okay. So this is it. It's old, but it's really, really beautiful. I feel like it has so much history. It's probably over a hundred years old, but it does um, have some character to it. I love being here. So I go into the courtroom. I'm the first person to get there. So that's the court clock. I take a seat and get myself ready. So the hearing is over and I'm heading back to work. I'm back at work now. Checking a few emails as per usual. I get a phone call. And every lawyer makes notes when they answer phone calls. Well, I will assume every lawyer does that. Be Very important that you have notes of what transpires in a conversation. So this is me making notes of my conversation with my client. Still making my notes. It's very important. 
Lying like a rat, but take your stuff back, baby. It's you. So right now I'm heading out for a meeting in our other office building. My firm has two office buildings. So I say a quick hello to my colleagues and one of them is the partner and I'm heading over for my meeting. So the meeting is over and I'm just going to grab some salad. I brought lunch but I still just wanted to spice that up with a salad. So I head to my favorite salad bar to pick up something. Spending all this time trying to get you on my mind. Oh it feels so good to take you off the pedestal. So I have my salad picked up. Pick up some dressing. I'm here to make my payment. So I'm warming up my rice. I'm eating lunch alone because every other person has had their lunch. But that's fine. Some days are like that. So this is my rice and my salad. Looks good to me. Bon appetit. So lunch is over and I'm back to the my office. I have some draftings to do so I get to that. So this is me drafting away, drafting away. So the life of a lawyer really revolves around, let me say the life of a litigation lawyer revolves around emails, phone calls, court appearances, meetings and lots and lots of draftings and research. And now my day is over and I'm heading home. This has been really, really nice, you know, sharing my day with you guys. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed sharing it. If you're thinking of being a lawyer or if you're already a lawyer in another province and you're wondering what it's like practicing in Canada, here you have it. I'm sure it's different for everyone, different for every firm, different for every area of law. But this is what my life is really like on a day-to-day -day basis. And I'm glad I got to share it with you guys. If you haven't subscribed, please click the subscribe button. Uh, there's going to be more of this type of content coming your way. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in my next video. Mwah.